Hey guys, uh, what's up? Today I'm going to talk about having a good Wi-Fi signal in a typical Toronto home. Typically our houses here are three stories, a basement, main floor and a third floor. This is an example. Um, some houses are wider and longer, more elongated. But typically what happens is when Bell, Rogers, Tech Savvy um, come into your house, they're going to put your router in the basement. This is where uh, houses are wired. Um, they do have um, wiring being wired initially coming into here. So what happens is you tend to put your router right here. Okay. So the bad thing about putting the router here is your signal strength is going to be limited to the areas around here right so you could uh, go and get uh, when you google boosting my router boosting my Wi-Fi signal you're going to be end up buying one of these uh, powerful routers which is not the best solution but it might work just to get the signal coverage get up more speed um, ideally I uh, that is not a permanent solution. You still have all these areas uh, as blind spots and uh, um, the signal in these locations are going to be really weak. So one quick solution would be to move this router uh, to the middle of the house. So it's either you can uh, move it somewhere here. It's a good spot since you, you maybe you have a TV you have a closet there you can move it there and then what you're going to get is a signal which is covers uh, this part of the house you're still going to have uh, blind spots I would say hidden spots in this location and this location and if you are using it outside in your back door uh, patio you're not going to have any signal here so that is a quick fix solution <clears throat> that you can do is moving the router other solutions out there that uh, you may find when you uh, when you're looking for Wi-Fi boosters is uh, you might find a Bell offering a service with their pods uh, I think you pay monthly for this and then Rogers has this uh, little pods as well which are I think they are Euro pods uh, that are going to be placed um, if your main router is here they're going to place these pods maybe one in this room or they call it pods or beacons one in this room and one in this room one pod is going to cover you in this area uh, this pod in uh, this area and you have this pod one pod in this area right so that might be a solution uh, which is a patch still a patchwork solution it will work uh, but still not the best solution okay this is the two solutions that uh, this is from uh, Bell and this is from uh, Rogers okay the solutions that we recommend is uh, having another router which is wired um, so I'm going to talk about the permanent solution the best solution later but to begin with um, uh, which uh, one solution which is cheap and could really work really fast is these uh, power line adapters so these power line adapters what they basically do is um, at the at where your router is in the basement uh, or anywhere in the house the main router uh, these routers connect to this power line and receptacle and then uh, through your receptacle through through your panel uh, board through your electrical panel it brings the signal to different rooms of your house so um, <clears throat> so if you having a weak signal in your bedroom then you plug the other part of these this thing this has a plug at the back both of them have uh, plugs this one goes near your router and this one uh, goes 
plugs in uh, to the rooms that are having uh, a weak signal so and at the bottom here of this thing there there are two jacks that you can plug in to your computer um, or, or TV okay so that is a good solution so basically if I want to picture this here there's going to be an outlet there's one and then through your power adapter you can put different units like this in different rooms so this is typically what happens it's illustrated better here so if you're having a camera for your kid uh, this guy who can't get access directly to this router's Wi-Fi uh, he's going to be able to get a better Wi-Fi from this uh, Wi-Fi signal right and here for your computer you can have a wired connection to your computer using the power line so it is very crucial that you have uh, the, the adapters the it is very crucial that if you're using a Wi-Fi booster it has to be wired all the wireless solutions like this Eero port, the bell ports or if you are getting this wi uh, mesh Wi-Fi system which um, is being used a lot nowadays um, just putting a beacon or those pods around the house uh, you know around the house is not going to help because the wireless signal transmitted just see the distance between here and here right the signal here is already very weak so by the time this guy gets if you put a pod here by the time he gets the pod the the signal is already low so there's a lot of encryption and decryption in wireless transmission having um, beacons or pods like this around the house um, is not going to help this, uh, this is the one of the best solutions out there uh, that can give you a cheap fix to fix your Wi-Fi so basically this solution comes in a pair uh, one item connects to the router you see there's a port here to connect to your router like this one port connects to the router and the other side needs to connect to your uh, this kit here this small little thing uh, which in then plugs to your power outlet or receptacle and then through the power line uh, the data signal is brought to uh, data signal is brought to different receptacles of the house till you plug in the other kit so there's two types of kits one is that this item transmits Wi-Fi uh, the one I suggest also has two uh, network outlets here that you can plug in outlet or you can get one which only has uh, the uh, uh, outlet a uh, data outlet like a RJ45 plug so you can plug that to your co uh, computer or if you have a TV in this floor uh, wall mounted TV then you can also put it behind the wall mounted TV and get that wired to your TV if you want good signal for your Netflix or whatsoever the solution that we recommend uh, highly recommend is uh, adding a router um, uh, depending on how big your is your house um, we usually do an audit uh, to see where is the best location to put an additional access point so in this location what we have chosen is access point in this room putting one here and one here okay and when we put this access point uh, they have to be they have to be wired to the main router right this one too so this is more of a bigger job because it has to the wires the cat 6 or cat 7 wires have to go through your walls um, to come back to your router so there are two ways of doing it uh, you can either go through outside or through inside the house depending on uh, where is the location of um, the new access point is going to be located um, if it's going to be all wired through inside the house it's going to be more work um, more holes to make more fishing of wires through the walls 
or if you go if your house is a detached house um, or a semi-detached it is going to be an easier job to fish the wires uh, through the outside um, it might be aesthetically not as pleasing uh, but those are the two alternatives you have a bigger house then in our audit you might need to put additional access points uh, and again back wire to this router this house um, has also about three access points and the access points that we typically use are ubiquity express points so we have to do the installation of the switches uh, and uh, wall mount this uh, access point so typically when the job is done this is what you would get in, in your utility room uh, where there is uh, switches and the access points installed uh, in various locations of the house so an example of how we install a corner of a ceiling uh, this is on a drop ceiling this is on a typical house this is more of a a commercial or a office area right this is on a wall this is from the ceiling and then this is the wiring closet this is how the wiring closet is going to look like just to give you an example of uh, what happens at the back it, it goes on a mount and then this one screws into that mount so this is a really uh, the best solution out there we have this is a guaranteed solution uh, that will definitely work why is this important because uh, um, you're looking at a couple of years from now uh, from now it's already started everything is going to be wireless uh, this you're going to have a lot of automated things in your house uh, you're going to have a Everything is going to be uh, monitored closely. Uh, all these gadgets in your house, different controls, video monitoring. So having a really good Wi-Fi coverage is very important uh, so that there's a lot of controls in your house. It's going to be easy for you to maintain um, and easy for you to configure and we're also talking about voice, uh, um, enabling voice. Every room in every house is going to have a voice assistant. So it's very important that, uh, you know, we have a good um, wi Wi-Fi signal throughout your house. This is an example of different controls uh, for a home. Um, you can call it smart home, but every home is going to be a smart home for the years to come so that uh, this is an example of how you know the placement of routers can give uh, a coverage uh, three routers can give a coverage up to 4500 square feet but really depending um, what happens and how much you want to use it we really have to do an audit to see how many how many routers how many access points that need to be uh, installed in your house um, you know if you're talking about you've got a pool side you've got a patio then uh, there's going to be way more access points um, so typically for a 4500 square feet house you're looking about five access some examples here of how uh, you know having an access point helps um, you having more coverage throughout the house so that any movement from one location to another location you're fully uh, protected and this is an example of how uh, you know each access point which is wired is going to be able to provide you full coverage looking at this scratch board again um, the best solution out there would be to wire um, different access points to different parts of the house if you look at this I would put you know one access point right here in this room uh, and then this throughout you know might be able to give me coverage around this area right this one is already here and then I will put another access point to in this room because I already have a TV here and uh, and that was going to give me better coverage uh, this is going to give me Wi-Fi in this area 
really depends right how we do it uh we need to see how we can fish the wires through you want to go through outside or go through inside but the important thing is uh, giving you the cleanest solution the most cost effective solution to have your wi-fi uh, cater uh, for the best of your needs you know if you have your office here then that's more important you want a really strong wi-fi there um, if you have um, your tv room here then uh, you want a wa better wi-fi here so you know in this scenario we put the better signal here uh, we put a access point so here because you have a tv here and it's a smart TV so you know if you want to uh, wire that TV to this access point then it's going to be easy so it really depends on we have to do an audit uh, you can you can do an audit and see um, what is best for your home every home is different uh, that's it for today thank you and have a good day um, if you have any questions let us know we'll be glad to help you out Bye.